Hello listener, I'm David Nagel. You might remember me from some Doctor Who fan audios made over a decade ago. Well, actually two decades ago. 20 years ago today, the 21st of July 2001, I released my first fan audio, The Big F Up. <coughs> Online for everyone to enjoy. And enjoy, I hope everyone did. Since... I've made over 40 fan audios and a few fan films, and all of them can be found on YouTube somewhere. This is the first episode in a short series of retrospective reflections on these fan adventures, and maybe one day more adventures for the David Nagel Doctor and the Matthew Chambers Doctor will appear soon. The Big F Up. Very badly written by me, this story sees me rip off the TV show Sliders by having the Doctor forced to abandon his TARDIS and replaced with a Sliders device. And landing in present-day London, the Doctor meets soon-to-be companion Mike and they have to face a London gangster and his mob. The idea of this was to push the Doctor into unknown territory by giving him little grip over his choice of destination. Recorded in early 2001 with a cheap karaoke Argos microphone, with my friend Michael playing Mike, we were really original with his name, you see, sound design was completed in a few more hours in what used to be called Cool Edit Pro and announced on the Floor 10 forum if anybody remembers that forum. The serial also featured only two other voice actors, Aaron Toman of his own crossover adventures and Chronicles of Oz fame, and his boss, called The Boss, in advertent commas, was played by our school friend Nick Berry. Other voices were done very obviously by myself and Mike. While not very exciting, the Doctor gets shot at at least once or twice, and a magic sliders portal opens at the end, the big F-up is, what you could say, a big F-up. I wish I came up with another title. Personally, I give The Big F Up a 2 out of 5 stars. This is so far away from perfect, but it vaguely sets up the season's story arc and doesn't do more than have the Doctor meet Mike. People uh, often ask me why I started fan audios, and to be honest, it's because making films was so much more expensive and so much more effort. Mike and I produced two little short Doctor Who fan films, and while they were only a few minutes long, with so much effort at the time, we were only 16 and 17, audio gave us a bit more freedom in what we did. I knew very little about Big Finish at the time, and I think my only listen was the apocalypse element, which I'll come back to in another video. There's a little bit of a full circle. So Mike and I were going into this audio game with very little experience. As two kids, we just wanted to have fun being creative, and that's what we did. And much later on, we discovered people actually enjoyed, maybe, what we produced. Next time, Continuity's End, featuring the Cybertrons.